Binyamin Netanyahu promises harsh action after days of rising violence, as protests mount at Prime Minister's handling of crisis. Israeli security forces have demolished the homes of two Palestinians behind lethal attacks on Israelis last year, and sealed off another. Following the Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's threat of harsh action amid sharply mounting unrest, the acceleration of the controversial policy of house demolitions was one of a package of measures announced in recent days by Netanyahu to quell days of escalating violence between Palestinians and Israelis, amid mounting criticism of Netanyahu's leadership. The analysis is a third Palestinian intifada on the way, or has it already begun? Violence is escalating but it is not yet clear whether Palestinian society is united in a desire for another prolonged period of unrest. Read more the houses destroyed were the former homes of Ghassan Abiyu Jamal and Mohammed Jabis. Abiyu Jamal, with his cousin Uday Abiyu Jamal, killed for rabbis and a police officer in a bloody attack on a Jerusalem synagogue in 2014, before being shot and killed. Jabis ran an earth mover into a bus in August killing an Israeli and wounding several others. He was shot dead by police at the scene. The demolitions took place hours after several thousand largely right-wing Israelis demonstrated outside Netanyahu's home to protest his handling of the crisis. The protest was attended by prominent figures in Israel's national religious and right-wing political communities, including MPS from Netanyahu's own Likud party, amid concern that the current tensions are in danger of being transformed into a new intifada uprising. Netanyahu has also faced criticism within his own cabinet, including from right-wing Education Minister Naftali Bennett and Justice Minister Eilif Shait. See the description.